I'm not sure it's an advantage to go last because I um, one has to respond and hear everything that others have said. I felt very called to that hymn and, and to a very short reading from John's Gospel, chapter 3, verses 19 to 21. Inevitably, I'm reading it from the message, as many of you would predict. This is the crisis we're in. God-like streamed into the world, but men and women everywhere ran for the darkness. They went for the darkness because they were not really interested in pleasing God. Everyone who makes a practice of doing evil, who is addicted to denial and illusion, hates God-like and won't come near it, fearing a painful exposure. But anyone working and living in truth and reality welcomes God light so the work can be seen for the God work it is. Thanks be to God. Well, like my colleagues, I can't believe that I've actually been leading worship for 50 years as a fully accredited local preacher. My body knows, but I don't think I know. To conservative estimate that I've averaged five appointments a quarter over that period, that's over a thousand services. Wow. Really? Although not, of course, quite that number of different sermons. I've never been afraid to reuse a good sermon. But it's humbling to realise this evening that we're honouring 215 years of service by the four who've spoken and by Tony. I feel particularly privileged that over those years I've come to know and be known by 27 uh, Methodist congregations. It's okay, I'm not using it. I know there are only 22 churches on the plan. But Sundon, the Shillingtons, Ram Green and Lucy are still part of my inner world and still part of the journey I've shared. All those churches have made me feel welcome and I'm grateful for that. You've surprised me by your attentiveness and willingness to listen, even when I wasn't at my best. You have uplifted me by your quiet faithfulness, your prayerfulness and your support and care, both for each other and your communities. You are a living embodiment of what Brian wrote and we just sung. Your living likeness still we bear, though marred, dishonoured, disobeyed. We come with all our heart and mind. Your call to hear, your love to find. Over the years, some of you have encouraged me by your kind words about the services which I've led. On the whole, I assume that when people say, I like the hymns, you are saying that it's a good experience of worshipping God. Uh, there's a little bit of me which wonders whether the subtext is not, but the sermon was crap. And when people say, you made me think, I'm never quite sure whether that's a compliment or a complaint. Sometime last year in 2019, the steward, one of our churches asked me, Colin, what's going to happen when you can't preach anymore? Other people tell stories and do interesting things, but they don't preach. Now, I'm well aware that it would have been easy to dismiss that comment as the nostalgia between two members of a post-war generation for an old way 
and style of worship and leading worship. But I find myself interested that the certificate you've given me or the, the church has given me, she's sitting in front of me says, for dedicated service in the kingdom of God and the church of Christ. And I find the kingdom a bit interesting, but then in bold as a local preacher. Preacher, not worship leader, not presbyter of what, any other word, still preacher in the Methodist church. So I found myself wondering, what does it mean for me? Does it mean to preach? So, an inevitable three points. Very quick points, very short. For me, preaching means first entering into the word imaginatively, dwelling in it and letting it dwell in you. The Bible is full of stories about human beings like us. Shaped and it's been put into words and passed down by fallible human beings. Shaped consciously and unconsciously by their particular cultures and perspectives. And what I've learned over the years, it's only as we get inside and understand their world. Do we truly sense of how God was at work in them and in their situations? We glimpse what the message paraphrases and describes as god -like. Secondly, preaching means speaking to the current realities of our communities and the global society. We're feeling passion and truth. To quote Brian Wren, we are all by social forces swept along, by powers and systems close confined, and in danger of being addicted to denial and illusion. That includes ourselves as preachers and our congregations. My sense is that unless we work with the experience of the now, with all its difficulties and ambiguities, its fake news and media bubbles, its fear of difference expressed in trolling. Unless we grapple with this, we won't find the words which reveal the fundamental goodness and love of God at work in all creation. Thirdly, Seems to me that preaching means seeking to reveal the God light in the here and now. To enable us to work and live in truth and reality. To welcome the God light. To find hope for humankind. To be honest, I feel that as preachers we're doing well if we reveal glimpses of the God light for some of the people, some of the time. But the spirit works with our limitations to do great things, to enable to see our worship and our lives, to see that work as God work that it is, to reveal God's kingdom. We preach that as churches we might all proclaim with Brian Ray, great God in Christ you set us free, your life to live, your joy to share. Give us your spirit's liberty to turn from guilt and dull despair and offer all that faith can do while love is making all things new. So be it, Lord. Amen. Our closing hymn is Tony's Choice filtered through his daughter who received his frame on his behalf and I hope has managed to put the two things, the certificate and the frame together. A quick memory of Tony. He was a member of the first local preachers meeting I ever attended in the old Dunstable circuit. He was a fixture through my training and my early years as a preacher. 
for some obscure reason that I never managed to work out, he was never preaching when I was preaching at Toddington, so he was always in my congregation. With a smile and a kind word. And as a local preacher, a very junior local preacher, nothing could have been more welcome. I remember Tony with great affection. And we sing, to God be the glory, great things he has done. <laughs> 